Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be installing a new black grill finally. I wasn't even going to get one of these but I ended up finding one for way cheaper than what I thought they were going for so uh, went ahead and got one. It's all black. It's that piano black. I'm not going to take this off yet just because I want to mount it first but uh, I think it'll look pretty sweet. And also, finally got some new wheels for the Q. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not putting these on the Q. I'm just selling these for a friend, but I do have wheels on order and they should be here in about a week. You guys are definitely gonna want to see these guys the actual wheels that i'm getting yet i want to save that for the next video but i'll at least tell you that the specs and they're going to be 19 by 10 and a half on all four corners so it's going to be pretty wide hopefully hopefully i did my math correctly on the offset so we have no issues there but uh yeah i'm super excited can't wait 19 by 10 and a half on all four corners and they should be here they said they get to be here anytime next week or the following week after that so there'll be a video out soon on all that as soon as i get them i can mount them ordered them from fitment industries so uh should be pretty sweet i'm pretty excited i can't wait for them i've been checking like every day my emails and everything waiting for them but uh as soon as they get here i'll make another video for you guys releasing those and then I got one more surprise for today. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I used to film on a Nikon Dirty D3300 and uh, it was stolen from me about two years ago, as well as the GoPro that I used to have. I went ahead and bought a new GoPro, but I never bought a new camera. And I finally got another one, finally. Um, this is still my, we're still filming on my GoPro right now, but I finally picked me up another one Let's see if i can get this open with one hand it's another nikon d3300 this one's pretty much brand new i picked up for super cheap this morning on uh, facebook marketplace so uh i just have to go grab a memory card for it we would be filming on it if i had a memory card but uh i'm gonna grab one of those probably tomorrow and then uh we can start getting some photos do some better cinematic edits and stuff because that's the only thing that's been holding me back because it's hard to do cinematic stuff on a gopro other than that, GoPros are great, but uh, I'm pretty excited to be back on an actual camera again. I did miss it, but uh, yeah, let's get into this install on this black grill. Oh, and some other things that I might have added since the last video, I can't really remember, but um, I went ahead and wrapped these black. I need to redo a couple of them. I did them myself. They don't look too bad though. Just to get rid of that chrome. And then, I also wrapped this black, it was silver, and I went ahead and wrapped this black, and it was silver as well. I'm probably going to get the updated new shifter anyways, but for now I just wanted to wrap black to see what it looked like, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. So for this install, a lot of people just take this top of the front bumper off. They're able to just get this top piece to kind of hang down and they can get back in there and get this undone. I'm going to start like that, but I think I'm just going to end up taking the whole grill off. I think, or the whole bumper off. I think it'll be way easier. So, uh, 
because I think to take the whole bumper off, there's only a couple more things. Like there's a one right in here. There might be one down here at the bottom. I don't think there's too many more bolts or clips for the bumper. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so first things first, you gotta remove this piece here. Just uh, clips along the whole sides and just clips over here. Pulls this up, it's like your uh, Ram Air style thing. And then if you look underneath this piece here, there's a bolt in there. I'm trying to find, oh, it's this one all the way over here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right here by my thumb. The 10 millimeter bolt, we're gonna undo that and it's gonna release this. That might get us enough room to pull it out, but uh, we'll see. All right, so next you're gonna turn the wheels all the way one way. There should be a clip right here and you'll be able to pull this little splash guard right here. If I grab it with one hand, you should be able to pull it like this. And then right where the bumper meets the fender, there's a bolt right there. It's a 10 millimeter, go ahead and pull that one out too. All right, once you get the bolts out on both sides, you can pull, it's gonna be kind of hard, but you can pull pretty difficult and it'll pull this clip out of it. You wanna pull it all the way around. It's kind of hard to pull on it, but once you, once you remove all those other bolts, you know there's nothing else there, so it's just clips, so just kind of pull it piece by piece and it'll all come up. Um, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna take the whole bumper off or not. I might have enough room here, but I might just go ahead and pull the bumper off. If you do, there's uh, just 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom here. I think there's like four or five on each side, and then the whole thing should just come off. And then um, if you have parking sensors and like the camera, just watch out for the wires when you pull it off. I went ahead and just undid all the bolts on the bottom. I think there was nine 10 millimeters along the whole bottom there. And then my, uh, my lip was actually, screwed through one of the uh, splash guards so i had to remove i had to remove two screws on each side as well but if you pull it hard enough it'll pull out just watch for these wires here um for your fog lights these ones are pretty tight there's like a little piece of tape here that like holds it there i just pulled it off on one side and it was able to drop down like this i think this is this will be fine for uh removing this front grill we look at the other grill there's these little posts here they have a nut on them i'm gonna go ahead and remove all those on these and see if we can get this to come loose so other than that it looks like it's just clips that hold it on there might be some wires that run here for the front camera so i might have to unclip them from there before i pull on anything but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and remove these nuts here you can see them in here there's those ones right there and yeah it looks like that wire oh that clips on the edge we should be able to just slide those off. And we gotta get that front camera out somehow too. Well, I got the grill out. After you undo all these, these little clips are super, super easy. You just barely push on this little bottom piece and they release. And I now see how the camera mounts. There's little Torx heads on. There's two of them on each side. There's like a little bracket that holds the camera in. So as soon as you undo those, I should be able to just pull this out and then start installing everything back onto the new grill and get her put in. So after you get the camera bracket out, um, it's super easy. It's just two of those two little torque bolts. You pull that out, you swap it over the new one, and then pretty much everything else from there is just reverse. Put the new grill in, tighten all the bolts down, get all the clips in, put the bumper back. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I just got to put all the bolts on the bumper over here, along the top, and then along the bottom. And then it'll be done. Uh, tomorrow, uh, since it's so late, I'll film another piece to show the final product of what it looks like. It's just too dark to even see anything right now. Uh, I do recommend leaving this plastic on while you're installing it, just so you don't scratch it or get a bunch of fingerprints in it and shit. But uh, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and finish bolting this up. And then, uh, yeah, I'll do the review tomorrow. Well, welcome back. 
it is now the next day it's hot as far today but as promised i told you guys i would show you the grill in the daytime so here it is this one was i think 150 dollars off of amazon and honestly it's pretty damn good quality it sticks up a little bit right here just a tiny bit i don't know if that was how the last one was or not but other than that i think it looks great for the price it really is a is a good deal compared to some of the other ones i've seen um here's the old one i think it definitely updates it a lot makes it look a lot better so now that i have the lip the grill i'm thinking about doing these chrome pieces black as well and then um wheels should be here in about a week or two we'll have a video on those and then on the back i have it all i have all the chrome deleted here too except the logo so uh, i think it's kind of tying in a little bit better the wheels are silver they're kind of chrome so i might leave this just to accent it but i'm not too sure um have these wrapped now so i need to get the sequential turn signal lights here i'm probably gonna do smoked for those and then i want to do one of the roof spoilers here as well but other than that i need to get a new rear diffuser my last one actually uh the double-sided tape that stick to the top here actually started pulling down and it kind of burns the whole thing so also some other news going on on the channel um i never really did any videos on this truck or anything so it wasn't really a big part of the channel but it should be going tomorrow um i posted it up for sale and somebody came and looked at it they said they took it for a test drive they loved it they want to buy it but they had to wait until tuesday which today is monday to uh purchase the truck so told him i'd hold it for him for a couple of days and uh we'll see if he comes back tomorrow to buy it but uh if he does then that's one more thing that's off of uh my hands so i will probably i don't know how quickly it'll probably be a while but i'm going to be starting to look for something else i know in the last video i talked about getting a 350z or something like that but uh i change my mind all the time so who knows what i'll end up getting um for now i'm just going to focus on the q making it look good uh once the wheels get here that'll pretty much be most of it everything else is just little things so I don't really know what the next plan is. Um, open for ideas. If you guys want to leave me some comments, let me know what you think I should get. Definitely appreciate that. Well, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, to wrap things up, uh, install went very well. It's pretty easy. It's really not hard to do. Uh, quality is good. Uh, this one was found on Amazon for $155, I believe. Um, if I can find the link, I'll definitely link it down below. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And that next video will be the new wheels. So uh, can't wait to see it.